We come out here today to expose the sin. And we expose the idolatry of alcoholism, marijuana smoking, fornication, adultery. We come out here to also proclaim the grace, the grace of God. You know, the Bible says in Titus, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying worldly lust and our darkness, we shall live soberly. Ask him what? You got a Bible? Soberly. No, Adam just gave him his Bible. Righteously oh. and godly yeah. in this present world. This isn't sober living. You know, your alcoholism and your marijuana smoking and cigarette smoking, it's not sober. It's reliance on that. Those things can't save you in the day of judgment. We come here to warn you, warning every man, that we present them perfect in Christ Jesus. We want, you, we want you to make it to that. We want to see you in the kingdom. We understand many will reject because the things of the word, you know, of Jesus' word is spirit. The natural man cannot receive it. But you need to be born again because the Bible says that which is of flesh is flesh. And that which is of spirit is spirit. You need to be born of spirit because flesh cannot inhabit the kingdom of, inherit the kingdom of God. And the Bible says that in Hebrews 11 verse 6 that it's impossible without faith to please God. You know, we have, we have this idea of faith of, you know, I go to church on Sunday. You know, I'm a good Christian. I give money to the poor. You know, but, but James talks about faith without works is dead. You know, you need to repent. Any, any work you're doing is a filthy rag before God. He who labors without the Lord labors in vain. The Bible says remain steadfast, unmovable, knowing that your labor is not in vain in Christ. Do you want your words in it? In, light, in vain? You know, before you get to the Lord, you'll say, Lord, Lord, did I not do all these great works in your name? He'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. You didn't work iniquity. You cast out into outer darkness. Oh, but there's grace. There's grace to save you from that darkness. You know, we come out here to tell you that God commended his love to us and while we were still yet sinners. Christ died for us. He lived a perfect, blameless life. No guile was found in his mouth. And he went to the cross for you. Your sins put him upon that cross. And he rose on the third day. He overcame death. He overcame the grave. So you may overcome your sin. All you have to do is just repent and believe. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, the Bible says. You know, out here that we face a lot of persecution. We want to persecute the preacher. The Bible says, those who justify the wicked and condemn the just. The just both are an abomination to God. Right. That is an abomination. God cannot, cannot stand in the presence of someone like that. You know? The Bible also says that wine is a marker and strong drink is raging. Whoever is deceived by there, thereby is not wise. Seek wisdom. A wise man uses knowledge. There's no knowledge. You know, there's no wisdom on here at one side. You know, if it's all about coming out, having a good time, living for the weekend, Absorbing the sun, we are absorbing the wrong sun. You know, put your faith and trust in the only one son of God. So they may not be condemned. The Bible says that, you know, if you don't believe, you are condemned already. But he who does believe is not condemned at all. You know, seek the Lord and you'll be found. Life is but a favor. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. You know, I, I keep hearing of these, these young people overdosing on drugs and, you know, getting into car accidents. You know, there's thousands of people dying today right now that think they have tomorrow. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my, if my people call by my name, will humble themselves, pray and seek me, I will hear from heaven. Oh, they must also turn from their wicked ways. That's the big right, part. Turning right. from your wicked ways. Then I will heal from heaven, will heal their land, and will give their sin. Don't you want healing? Don't you want healing of your sickness? Don't, don't you want forgiveness of your sin? It's all found in Christ Jesus. You know, people want to reject God, you know, they want to come out and come to the time, they want to go to church just on Sundays, and, you know, follow the Lord when it's convenient for them. But later on in life, when they need that miracle, you know, They'll turn to God and wonder, why doesn't God answer our prayers? How come, where, where is God? Thank you so mad at being in the bottle. I'll tell you what a relationship with Christ. I know Christ. Christ testifies to me, you know, the Spirit speaks. 
The Bible also says that the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter time some will fall away from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Having their conscience speaking lies in these prophecies. You know, that's what we see today with these televangelists and, you know, this is, a, this is all deception. Satan has you under his hands. He has you where you want to. You know, these televangelists, they want to tell you about God is love, which he is, but they don't want to give you the whole message. They don't preach the whole counsel of God. You know, and it's easy to receive because they're going to convict you. It's not the whole word. The word, the word of God is, is, is living, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two edged sword, dividing, joints or marrow, and so on, spirit, and it's also a discerning of thoughts and the heart. You know, the world sees your heart. You know, the Bible says that the heart above all things is deceitful, desperately wicked. Who can know it? But I, the Lord, search the heart, and even try the reins, and give to every man according to his ways, and the fruit of his doing. Where is your heart? What is your reward in heaven? You know, when the Lord seeks your heart, does he see covetousness, envying, strife, you know, hatred toward the brother? The Lord looks at your heart. The Bible says that if you look at one who was lost, he can lust after her and already committed adultery. It's not the act, it's where the heart is. The Bible also says that if you look with hatred upon a brother, you are a murderer. These are big charges because murderers and adulterers can't enter into the kingdom of God. The Bible also says you must love one another. That's what it's loved us. But if you look upon a brother, you can behold. You love him not. The love of the Father is not in you, and you are a liar, the Bible says. And no liar shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible also says that none does good. No, not one. No one seeks after the Lord. This day, we can attest to that. We come out here, no one's seeking for God. You know, if we weren't out here today, you wouldn't be hearing the word. You wouldn't hear the word at all. You know, we hear this worldly music. Satan, Satan's the God of music. You know, he's the angel of music. He can play praise for the Lord. But now he's deceiving the world through his music and his lyrics, you know. The Bible says that you don't know, love the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because all that is there in the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, the Bible says. Those things will pass away, but he who abides in the Father will stand forever. Right. Do you want to stand forever with God? If you want to pass away, there's going to come a day. You know, the Bible says, the point of a man to die once, then this comes the judgment. When God opens the book, your life, your, your, your name is not found in the book of life, you'll be cast outside. The Bible says, Behold, we're outside of the gods, the sorcerers, and the whoremongers, and the murderers. And whosoever loves and makes a lie, the Bible says, you'll be cast out into outer darkness. And the only way in to have is through the door, the only door. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. Whoever comes outside of me are thieves and robbers, the Bible says. Jesus Christ says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. You know, all your, your isms, your Mormonism, your Catholicism, your baptism, it's not going to get you to heaven. Basically, God is the of sin. It's going to get you into heaven. When we're in paradise, the hell, hell, hell is everlasting torment where the worm never dies. We don't want that for you today. But I'm sad in the rejection of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 4, verse 6, My people perish for lack of knowledge. For you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you. You will not be a priest unto me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. I see some children out here today. You want God to forget your children because you forgot all oh God. It's simple. Repent of your sin. Seek the Lord when you be found, right before the vapor. You are here one day, you are on the next, you don't know when it's coming. The Lord, the Lord brings judgment upon your life that you will see God, and when the judgment, you know, while he's up, you will go right back to your sin. The old prophet says, 
This is the dog returning to the vomit, so a fool returns back to his den. When you, when you accept, you know, you willfully sin, you are no longer a sacrifice of sin, like the Bible says. After he has received an he who sins willfully after he has received an oh, yeah, no owl. Therefore, in Hebrews 10, verse 26, the Bible says, Therefore, after receiving an knowledge of the truth, you willfully sin, they no longer remain to sacrifice for our sins. See, Jesus died for our sins. So we may have a sacrifice to cover by his blood and enter in blameless. But if you turn back to his sin, you are going to be able to hear the Bible says in the first place. The end there wrote his words. The Bible says the woman caught in adultery, go and sin no more. Lest the worst thing come upon you. In that instance, she was going to be stoned, put to death. What could Jesus be talking about the worst than death? He's talking about the second death. That worst thing that can come upon you. So the Bible says in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. But not that I that live, but Christ within me. In this life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who gave himself for me and loved me. Are you doing that today? Are you living with this life in the flesh? Are you sowing to the flesh? Are you sowing to the spirit? Sowing to the flesh is going to bring destruction. It brings it's the way of death. Oh, seek the spirit. Sow to the spirit. You will reap. You will reap blessings. Salvation. The only things that matter in this life. You know, you're going to get drunk today, you're going to enjoy the sun, you're going to go home, you're going to wake up tomorrow with no satisfaction. No satisfaction. But Jesus said, those who thirst come to me, and I will fill you with rivers of flowing water. You will never thirst again when you come to Christ. He also said, I am the bread of life. You know, you're going to eat, you're going to drink, you're getting married, the Bible says. But there's no satisfaction in those things. You'll be hungry again. You will thirst again. I can promise you that. I was right there. I was in you guys' shoes. This is the testimony of God right here that I'm preaching right now. God is calling. He's crying for his children to come back to him. But you'll reject him. Just as the Pharisees did of Jesus' day. They, they, they don't want to serve the God. They, they want to serve their sin. This is slavery. They got you in pain and bonded. Don't you understand? Satan kept his death in the jail cell, but the door is still open. I got a piece of it. Yes. Yeah. Can you turn it so we can see it? See the, see the guy who throws sin and sin him to hell? Yeah. I, I, that's not the God I do. And here's the reason you're worshiping an idol, sir. You know, the God of the Bible wrote that. The God of the heavens and the earth. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. There it is. They're talking about my brother, it's right here. I'm, I'm going to speak to you. It's quick, I can remember it. The debt that Jesus paid for his crucifixion, the debt was paid. So I don't believe he throws us into hell. Is that you don't believe in hell? I don't believe that's the God that throws us into hell. You, you, you make it like he's, he's, he doesn't love us. He, he, he acknowledges us. He acknowledges our sin. God acknowledges our sin. We're imperfect. Correct? Yep. So why would you why would you put a sign that says that Jesus throws us to hell when he paid a debt? He, he was crucified. He died for the Bible. No, he, your interpretation is wrong. What about going to no more? Well, how about the fact that... Sir, I gotta preach. You heard it? No, sir. You're preaching. You're preaching the Bible. It's bad representation of the problem. Are you a Christian, sir? Yeah, yeah. What's in your hand? It's a beer. I'm allowed to drink a beer. Guess what? This is made of hops, yeast, and barley. That's what God gave us. Bottle of water. It's over here. I'm allowed to eat for your ass to be drunk, sir. How come you're right here? Being a friend of the world is an enemy of God, the Bible says. No, the Bible says in James 4.4, 4, you adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not the friendship with the world is enemy of God? Whosoever therefore shall be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. 
I don't believe the God will make it into heaven. I don't believe the God. No, Satan can't be a God. He's not going to be in heaven. He's going to hell. To make up land with fire and do it for Satan and anger. That wasn't made for you. That wasn't made for me. But you must repent by the Lord. You are fallen creation. You were born with the capability of sin. Don't search the flesh and soul and spirit in the war. Don't you see? The flesh wars against the spirit. We must overcome. The Bible says, we all have sin. If you do not mock, if you're born, you're in your sins. That's Isaiah 28, verse 22. The people want to mock, the people want to mock the word of God. God will give you over the stronger desires of your sin and your flesh. We don't want that for you. We come out here to proclaim the word of man. Ezekiel 33 talks about a what? What's that word? The word coming upon the people. The Bible says that if you don't warn the people, your blood will be upon your hands. We come out here to cleanse our hands. The Lord of the name of the is coming. He's coming. This is real. Heaven and hell is real. This is real stuff. That's the judgment. When you repent, your souls are in the balance. But this hope, the Bible says, is here. But isn't that the judgment? That if a man is wicked, he wants to be wicked. All of his wicked deeds are going to be forgiven. It's not for any of us. But it's conditional. Of course, the Bible says that if a man who is righteous turns to his righteous deeds, from his righteousness, all of his righteous deeds will be forgotten before the Lord. Good scripture. The Bible also says, he who is righteous, he who does righteousness is righteous. And he who sins, is of the devil because the devil has seen from his beginning the Bible says the Bible says do not judge you know you're the devil you come out here and you're looking out the neighbor of lust and you know you're drinking alcohol you're fornicating you're looking for someone to bring home there's no deliverance in that now there's no faith in the day of judgment People want to stop their miracles in the Word of God. Well, when you're taking your last breath, you don't believe in a miracle. You're never looking for that miracle. You're never, you are never going to be there. Unless you're in Christ Jesus, you can deliver. That's your, that's, that's why I have a problem with what you're saying. You also, you also preach the elders. You also preach the elders. You also preach the elders. You know, better is a living dog than a dead lion. You're in the Word, but you know. The living know that they shall die. But the dead know nothing at all. The memory thereof fades away. You won't die, but you will die someday. But you can repent. You're still alive. While today is called, still called today, seek the Lord. I urge you to go home to your prayer club. Go home, right to God. You'll hear you from heaven. The Bible says that you call your neighbor in sin, you offend these little ones. Everybody to believe in Jesus, God and you just go along with that, and the ocean right there with a millstone hanging on your neck. That's right. Satan wants to be free. I don't care what the Bible says. He just lies to us. No, 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 I see a danger. The Spirit testifies. I see a danger. The Spirit testifies. The Bible says, well, at the end time, the Spirit testifies. Having itching ears.
Thank you.